Hey guys, a very warm welcome to Growology. I'm your host Arpan Das and in today's session we are going to cover the second part in module 6. Okay, so let me show you the mind map once again. Here we go. So far we have completed like creating our skeleton structure of our funnel. Then we have chosen our lead magnet from idpla.com and we have downloaded all the resources from it as well. Now in the second part, I'm going to show you the groove pages part, okay, where we will do the design hacking, okay. So we are going to design the full website as well as funnels using groove pages, okay. So let's begin. Let me show you uh, my groove dashboard. Yeah, it looks like this. Now, in order to create your groove page, you need to first let me move myself to the right bottom and you need to click on this icon. Then we have to click on Groove Pages. Then we have to click on New Site. And we will choose a blank template. Okay. Let's give the name Immune Food Solutions because our lead magnet is called Immune Food Solution. Okay. So let's create on Start Building. Yeah, now this is your dashboard. You have blocks, elements, pages, funnels, pop-ups, as well as stats. So blocks are nothing but pre-made blocks. You can just drag and drop them, edit them, and make your changes, and they are ready to go. And elements are, in elements you have columns, containers, headings, paragraphs, okay? Icons, video, you can drag and drop from here as well. And pages are going to be your different pages of your website. So this is our home page. You can create multiple pages and from here we create funnels. Okay. And this is for creating pop-ups. So let me show you what we are going to model right now. We will try to recreate this landing page. Okay. The lead magnet landing page. We don't have to create like a Dito carbon copy of this page, but we will try to replicate as much as possible. So, so what we need to see. They have three blocks. First one is the header block, followed by your uh, lead magnet and the description about the lead magnet. So they, I think they have forgot to give the call to action button. So we will include that. And in the last part, they have feature section. Okay, let's recreate this. So in order to recreate this, we have to go to group funnels. And from blocks, I will choose a block which looks quite similar to that. Okay, so yeah. I will choose this one. I think this will go good. Yeah. Now I have to delete these buttons. You click here. This is the delete option. This is the copy option. Okay, guys. So I will delete. Click on confirm. Click on this button. Again, delete. Okay. Now I have to change this headline with this one. Not this one this one so i will copy this headline control c go back to my group funnel paste your headline over here and i think i have to change the size that's it's looking too big so let me change the size yeah this is good this is good now we have to change this part so let me copy their sub headline come here paste it so guys as we can see these are all center aligned yeah that's what i want and i have to reduce this size as well here we go it looks good now i will move this up yeah i'll click this block and try to reduce the size of this block okay now look it's looking good now what i will do i will try to change this background because this has a background like this so i will try to replicate this so let me go here select this thing go to background okay you need to change this background okay so you have to choose image as i have already uploaded this image so I will choose from here only. Select this one. 
and click on select you go your background is changed now we are going to change this free part color of this one this yeah to yellow as they have in their case and we also have to change this part as well okay so let's come here select this part click on this button and choose your color so we are done with the first part okay guys now we have to do is let's move this up a bit yeah it's looking good now okay let me cross this out yeah it's looking good so far okay i have i can do one change i can just come here and select on background and change this contain to cover yeah this is looking much better isn't it yeah now i will recommend you once you complete a part of your job you need to save it okay else you never never know <laughs> your all hard work may go to win okay so now i will come here and i will try to replicate this part okay one part having ebook another is the description about the ebook so let me copy the heading first come here again go to blocks and find a block which has related, related to that yeah i think this will go good isn't it yeah let's try it how can i drag yeah so now let's click on save and remove this side so from now i will change this heading to mines okay and increase the size of text as well mm, let me select everything size i will increase its size like this and make it center aligned yeah it's looking good now now i will also change the description part this part control c from here control a and control v oh so i have to increase its size as well yeah now make it center aligned sorry for that okay uh, make it center aligned and i will move my buttons position like this and towards the center part okay yeah just like this only now let's see let's click on save and see how it's looking so far yep it's looking very good now i will change this image click over here come to configure section choose your image okay first i will delete this one wait i will delete this image then choose my image as i already uploaded this image from the resource file which i have downloaded from idplr.com so this is my image i click on this image and then i will cl click on this select option and then let's click on update here we go now i think i have to reduce the size of the image it's looking weird here so just drag down yes yeah it's looking good right I want I can reduce its size a bit more yeah now it's perfect let's click on save let's see yep it's looking perfect so now I will create the third section okay 
which is this part okay no issues let's go there and when we need to find a somewhat similar kind of block okay it reduces our work i mean yeah so let's go to block all blocks and let's find something similar to that we need something which has a feature like section okay there are here are two rows i don't want two rows I want something like one row thing, okay? Let's see, let's see. Here we go, these are all two rows. Will this work? Let me see again. No, basically they have a heading and just a block of text, okay? So if I don't find like that, I will just recreate like my version. Okay, we will do this. This will work good, I think. Yeah. Okay, now we have to click this blog and move it down with this arrow. Okay, here we go. Let's see how it's looking. Yeah, it's looking good. Now I will change the headline with this. What they have in there, you have you'll discover. So let's go change the text. Okay, and delete this block as we don't need it. Oh my god, I've deleted the wrong thing. Let's see. Okay. And I will delete this text. Sorry, not like that. We will have a delete button over here. Click on delete. We need to delete this as well. Yeah. Now uh, I have to remove these logos. Okay. Remove the container as well and the buttons as well. This is the text part. Okay, no issues with that. We'll delete. What is this? Now, come here, copy this. Paste it over here. But I can do one thing, I will delete this as well. Click on this beginner part. Control paste, yeah. We'll click on this and increase its size. Yeah, it's looking good now. Okay, let me show you the resource file which I have downloaded from there. Uh, we go to the finder, click on desktop. Uh, let me show you the file, okay? This is the folder. So, 
we're doing the landing page then they have provided us all the assets over here okay these are the three assets they have provided to us size yep yeah it's looking good now and then I will just do select this entire block uh, click on this delete this as well we need to delete everything basically because we are not having buttons and containers now let's go over here copy the second part come here paste it over here and its size was 1.5 rem and this also has to increase the size yep Yeah, it's looking good now and then we have to uh, select this one delete these things I know this part is a bit boring but we have to do right click over here so now we'll go here and copy the third feature come to group funnels paste it over here and then increase its size let me move myself yeah and increase its size to 1.5 rem and drag this a bit okay so the, here we go we have completed the feature section and now we will click over this block and go to background uh, they have color i will try to import an image so click on choose image and let's upload the image okay i think they have provided us with this image as well yeah click on open and after that we need to click on this upload button it will, it will take some time here we go click on select and here we have our image ok let me change the text color I think it was yellow ok let me see how it's looking ok it's looking good but I think it will look better if I change the background to contain maybe cover contain auto let's do it contain yeah it's looking good in contain so let's click on save here we go we have completed the lead magnet page almost and what they have anything else okay they have a background color of gray for this part so let me do that as well click here background let's choose gray it's too dark isn't it so I need to choose a lighter version of green no, not this one yeah this looks good let's click here background click on this gray it's too dark yeah it's look good now let's do the similar thing over here as well
this is the one now I need to change the color of this text okay so select the text click on this icon and let's do it white is this white no so let's do it again which one is white guys I think this one yep select this as well click on the A button change the color to white Here we go, we have almost completed this part. It's looking good, right? Not exactly the same, but this will work. Let's click on the save button. Yeah, it's saved. So we have completed the lead magnet page, guys. Now we are going to create a pop-up for this, okay? Uh, let me show you like how we create a pop-up. We have to go to this pop-up section and then create new pop-up let's name it um, lead magnet pop-up and here you will find three options standard entry and exit exit pop-up entry pop-up you know all this and i will so i will select the standard pop-up and on which page it will appear on the home page okay so let's now choose a design suppose this is the pop-up i want yeah so let me read this thing i don't need this from here i will write like enter your email id in order to get this ebook okay here we go then click on save and exit so we have created a pop-up as well now we need to link that pop-up with this button so in order to do that we need to click on this button then click on configure now link to pop-up and let's choose our pop-up which is lead magnet pop-up then click on update so guys we have created the first thing okay we have created the lead magnet page now let's create the thank you page for this lead magnet okay so let me look how the thank you page is, looks like uh, this is the lead magnet thank you page let's click on this link Okay, they are they are having. A, they don't have pop up actually. They have a separate thing. So since I have already created the pop up thing, so okay, I will do this just this part. Okay, just thank you. Your download is ready, and then I will show my ebook. Okay. I don't need these things. Okay, let's recreate this. So for that, I will go to Group Funnels. Okay, now I will create my second part. Okay, this is my home page and now I will create this series of landing pages Which will be a constituent of the funnel. So I will now go to funnel Click on this icon Here we go. This is our first page inside the funnel So in pages section we will find our home page and in funnel section we're going to find each and every funnel so first let's change this name which is says page one i will click on these three dots and click on edit settings now change the name to uh, say lead okay let's write thank you lead magnet okay now change the page url to say thank you lead magnet okay tylm click on this right button so now we need to develop similarly a thank you page for this lead magnet so we'll go to blocks the first part is quite similar so what i will do i will uh, choose a similar design this one 
drag and drop. Delete this button first. Okay, now okay, this part is finished. Okay, I'm closing this one. So we need to write thank you. Control V now you need to write your download is in is download is ready right so I, will come back to, I will copy paste it from here here we go it's too small I need to click here and increase its size What's wrong? Let's delete this first. Oh my God, it's gone. <laughs> so let's select this. Increase its size. Yeah, it's... This is good and increase the size of thank you as well yeah it's good only so let's change this color to yellow and let's change the background to that image okay choose image we already have this image uploaded right let's click on here Click on select and let's change this to cover. Yep, that's looking good. Click on save. Let's see. Now we need to have that ebook image and a download now button. Okay, okay, we will do that only. We're going to have an ebook image, okay? So let's go to block uh, some lead magnets. Let me see which will go with this. Okay. I think this will go, right? In this place of this laptop, I will keep my image and there will be a download button. That's all, right? I think anything will go so let me click this drag drop what's happening now we need to do some changes like Okay, we just need that image and download button. That's all, guys. So let's go to group funnel. No headlines. I will remove these. Click on this. Delete. Okay. Now click on this. don't need the features as well isn't it i will click here delete confirm i need to delete this oh my god i have to remove this also now these things now 
Now let's write download over here. Download now. Okay, then let's click on save. Click on update. Here we go. We have our button ready. Now we need to change that image, okay? So let's click on this image, configure, and click on choose image. And I already have this file over here. Click on select. And then we need to click on update. So I will reduce the size. Okay. It's too small. Yeah, it's looking good now. So we will save it again. So do they have anything else? Okay, they are showing this thing also. Okay, click here to get inside. They are actually opting, promoting the core one offer here. We will not do that. We will do that later on. Okay. Let's delete this, not needed. Okay, this as well. So guys, our thank you page for the lead magnet is also ready now. Click on save. Okay, this is saved. Now we need to create a core offering page and upsell page as well as two thank you pages as well. Okay, so they are all part of funnels. So we'll go to funnels. Click here. Choose a blank template. Click on edit settings and let's create the code offering page guys. So that is um, core offer. URL is going to be say core offer. Okay. That's all. Click on this right icon. now let's create and try to replicate this okay so let me see the front end of this product this is one this is the one we will try to replicate not exactly just to understand like how group pages work so i'm showing you all this okay it's too long i will not do oh my god it's too long guys okay i will try to replicate as much as possible so what they have they have the logo they have heading subheading a video and call to action and a background this is the first part we will do okay so let's go there group funnels uh let's click on the blocks click on all blocks let me see if i can find something like that yeah this will go Okay, click on save. Now, I need to change this logo first, okay? So click on this logo, configure, need to choose image, upload image. So let me see if they have provided me with that. Let's go to uh, module seven. 
module sales page here front end assets img now is there any logo can you see let me go down yes these are the logos guys one is black and this one is white so what they have in the I think they have black yeah let me choose the black one okay click on open let me see it once again to confirm yep, they have the black one only let's click on this upload button here we go let's click select so now let's click on update here we go it's done click on save i need to change the background in order to see that logo okay click on this cross icon as well yeah i can see it's done so now i will copy this headline go to group funnels paste it over here okay and it's too big i need to reduce the size not that one sorry yeah it's looking good now um, we have to delete this it's not required and this design thing is also not required okay so we will delete these and this icon as well confirm this empty container as well guys let's delete it yeah now we have to copy the subheader which they have let's copy this thing come to group funnels click over here select this and paste it over here yes bad techniques i think they will it will have a space Okay, let's increase its size a bit. Yeah, it's looking good now. So what I need to do now, I have to upload a video, okay? Then there will be a call to action button. So let me go to group funnels. Let's click on elements and we will find a video guys. Uh, YouTube video, drag it, paste it over here. Oh, I've made a mistake. The video should be okay. The subheading should be ahead of the video. Okay, so I'll click on this video. Let me click on this video. They're not providing me anything like that. Okay, so let's, can I drag it and no, it can't be dragged. Also, let me delete it first. No, so let me drag the video once again. yeah over here now it looks good click on save let's remove this yeah it's looking good now yeah now we need to change this video okay so what we will do we will go to their core offering page and let's click on not click let's yeah, let's click on the video or well, let's click on the share icon copy this link so here is the video on youtube so we need to embed this video Dear okay friend, so you? in order to do that we need to click on share and copy this thing now let's go back to our group funnels and click on this video click on configure and we need to paste this thing not the whole link from this part only okay 
and let's click on update here we go we have that video click on save click on update and save So guys, now we need to change this background and this call to action button. I will click here and move it down like this. And now let's change the background. Click on background, choose your image. And I have to upload that image by clicking over here. Let's go to we'll find here i think this is the background guys yep this is the background click on open and wait for it to upload yeah now let's click on select here we go we have the background okay i think the video size is looking too much need to reduce the size of the video so let's drag it yeah it's looking good to now let's compare it with the sales page yeah it's very small and yeah everything is looking perfect perfect though so let's drag it down more yeah it's good now now okay the text colors and all all are black okay so we will select this come here choose black select all these come here and choose the black let's click on save and see now let's see after this heading section okay they have a letter so we need to copy this okay so we will do this section now yeah, let me copy this one go to group finance now let's go to blocks and call to action okay if you don't find over here then you need to go to all blocks okay now let's find something similar to that so you need to look for these as there are plenty thousands of blocks available for you Okay, what I can do like I can search by category okay like I'll go to blocks and look for content blocks if I can't find anything over here no no nothing here I'll go to then call to actions yeah this will go let me see if I can find anything else else I will do that only resources no I can't find anything in resources yeah now let's look for Okay, let me go for that only okay because I think we can do with this very well so let's drag it down over here leave it okay I'm dragging it over here and I will move it down okay so I'm showing you how to do that so 
I will here you will find the arrow down button click over here it will go down okay now we need to paste what I have already copied from here okay so let me delete the headline as we don't need over here and the button as well we don't need buttons now let's paste it over here yeah and we have to make it left aligned because it's like a letter and so let me see the changes now um, okay it's going to be bold this dear friend part is going to be bold okay let's select it click on bold and let's reduce the size to nine nine is too short nine is too small so let's do it 14 still it's too small let's increase to 20 yeah it's looking good now let's select everything and change the size to 20 okay now I have to yeah see there are spaces I mean there are line breaks after each and every line okay like after each and every sentence so I need to do that over here so here I need to click on enter over here yes we have completed this part uh, let's click on save okay let's see again oh they have a background you see they have a background because this is pure white and they have a background over here so we need to input a background so let's go here select this entire block click on background choose an image so I need to upload the image so let's click on upload image now let's find that image okay i think yes this is the background click on open click this upload button so once it's uploaded we need to click on select here we go click on save look we have added the background so far it's looking good right now we will go to the next block which is again text okay so let's copy the text first oh they have a heading as well so let me copy the heading first funnels and uh, let's go to block then let's go to call to action now let's drag and drop this same block again okay now we need to change the headline so control v and it has to be left aligned let's push it like this and reduce the size let's see what they have done yeah it's looking good so I need to reduce the size again yeah it's good now we need to change the color from blue to black Now we are going to copy all the text from here. Uh, 
and paste it in this body okay so i think i need to select this yeah it's looking good now i will push it towards right just to see that they are all following same orientation and let's remove one block over here oh my god let's undo it okay it's looking good now click on save so we are done with this block as well okay we need to delete these things and the button as well so click on delete confirm delete and just remove this okay click on save now let's see their landing page again again they have a series of text and this image and what are the benefits that they're going to cover and here is the price point okay so we will do till the price point so let's go up and copy this portion go to group funnels and let's go to blocks I hope you are understanding the way I'm doing. It's easy. You just need to follow the same procedure, okay? So let me select this. Drag it down. Yeah. Now let's paste it. Everything over here. So now I have to reduce the sizes of this. So let's select all size. Let's reduce the size, okay? Yeah, it's looking good now. And it also has to be reduced. Yes. Now let's paste. Oh, uh, have we pasted that? Let me copy it once again. Come here. Yes, we have already pasted it. So now I have to think. Yeah, we have to give spaces in between. Like the we have to click enter everywhere. Where I will find full stop. Not once. We need to enter it twice because these are not paragraph. These are heading by default. You just need to replicate what you have done in the above section. And we need to change the background color and the text color as well. So the text color is black and the background is yellow. Okay. So let me copy all the text. Let me copy it once again. Click on this A button. Let's choose the color black. Okay. Okay, now let's change the background image. To do that, I will click on this entire container. Come to this background section. Uh, choose image. Let's upload a background image over here, there which they have already provided in the resource folder let me see which is the one I don't find I will use a random image okay so I'm thinking of using a random image since they have not provided us with that let me look further if I can find I will use that Go to assets. 
graphic packs he covers book covers logos by map so i need what the banner ads no not these let's look at e-cover book bundle checklist cover logo no. oh i can't find it over here so let's see if i can find something here images no nothing will go with it let me go to sales page thank you page if i can find inside this image section they have provided us with the download now option also since i don't find i will randomly use an image okay. so let me use this white again stick on open we already have this it was actually of no use of uploading it once again so let me delete it and click on this one and let's select this one okay so far we have let's click on save yeah now let's see what they have done they have this part okay introducing i mean they are introducing the code offer over here and we will do this part and we will directly go to this buy now option okay and they have also given the bonus that what are the bonus they will provide if someone buys from their link okay we can do this also so let's come here we need to do this okay we need to copy these headings come to group funnels click on blocks now let's look for a block which has a header as well as image with it okay okay will this go yeah this will go well so let's drag it down over here leave it so we have to make changes over here first let's delete the logo we don't need logo anymore okay we will delete the subheader as well it's not required okay now we will okay i think there was a subheader right so i will keep it and i will see what they're having like they're having introducing so we will copy this introducing part come to group funnels paste it over here and make sure that it is bolded and we'll increase its size to say 20 or oh, it's still less we will increase the size to say 40 yeah it's looking good now now let's change the main header main headline which is immune food solutions we will copy it from here come to group funnels select not like that yep paste and we will reduce its size because it's coming in two lines we want to be in a single line okay so yeah this looks good now let's select let's see if we can click on 56 yeah it's looking good now let's pull this image i mean let's bold this text yeah now let's change the color to yellow i guess it was yellow right yeah come here choose yellow have i chosen some other color or what oh yeah i've chosen brown so we need to choose yellow 
yeah now let's copy this subheadline of the group funnels and let's paste it over here yeah and let's delete all these things you know, we don't require them what's wrong yeah let's click on confirm and this is deleted let's delete the empty container as well yeah now I need to upload that image okay so I will upload an image so let's click on elements and find image blocks here we go drag it now yeah, maybe it over here Now let's select the image and I want it over here this way. It has to be in the center. Uh, it's perfect now. Let's cross this thing. Yeah, it's looking good. So let's select on the image, configure, choose image. Now we need to choose upload image like this one, okay? Which having everything. Okay, let's come to Google Funnels, click on upload image. Let's see, I hope they have provided me with that image. So, here we go, we have this IFS bundle. Click on open. Let's click on this upload icon. So once it's uploaded, we will cl click on select and update. Look guys, the image has been uploaded. Let's click on save. Okay, now we need to change this background, okay? What they have, they have a white background with some text. So let me copy the text first. here so they don't have call to action over here so let me delete the button here okay click on this button delete confirm okay now I will click on elements and click on this paragraph drag it and I will place it over here now let's paste what we have copied from their page yeah now we need to click on save and change the background of this block okay so what i will do i will click on this block come to background delete the image come to color choose white and change its opacity to zero it means it will become full white yeah it's looking good now click on save and i will change the text color here to black so everything and this too also black Okay, let's click on save again. I will keep some spaces. Yeah, it's looking good now. See? Yeah, it's looking very good. Now let's go to their page. Okay, they have 
central aligned okay we have to change this to central aligned so let's select again everything click over here so it's center aligned now we will just create this part okay here's the good news instead of 47 dollars we are just offering this for 17 dollars and we will have a call to action button so that's all we are going to do over here i hope you understand like how to create pages in and funnels in the groove page right now so let's come here go to block section and if you want perfection so guys you can change the text sizes and text fonts and all everything okay i'm not doing anything like that in this video, in this case so let's add the call to action thing so let me go to call to action let's choose this one drag it down leave it so again i need to change the headline to here's the good news copy it come to group funnels select this headline and paste it okay now we have to change the body and the color of the headline will be black okay now we will copy this entire thing come to group funnels okay now we have to make some changes like it will be over here and only it will be over here now we need to select this and strike it out and make it bold and a bit shorter okay and we will make this bold and increase its size to say 40 pixels okay this look perfect now let me compare it with their sales page okay it has to be in red and for only has to be in bold okay so come here select this part let's make it bold and just change the color of 17 dollars to red okay and let's reduce the size of this part to say 26 pixels yep it's looking good now now what we do need to do we need to have a call to action button which we already have like get instant access now and they're providing the bonuses so we will do this part as well okay so let me select this part control c okay let's come to group funnels First, let me change this button okay, to yes. I want instant access. Okay, click on update. So we have our call to action button now. So let's do one thing. Click on this button let's change the background color to say green okay now we are going to make this bonus part okay like wait that's not all if you get okay you will get these bonuses okay so let me copy these to group funnels again we need to select the block okay. 
yes this will do the job so let's drag it down so guys this is the way we generally create our landing pages and websites using roof pages so i'm showing you i have so far i've created the lead magnet one and the thank you page now i'm creating the core offering part okay now you need to create like the core offer thank you page as well as upsell one page and upsell one thank you page so i will not create all those because i, I just create i'm just creating all this to get you give you some idea like how to create with blocks and all so for those part i will just copy and duplicate these pages and make some minute changes so that we can understand that this is my upsell page and this is my code offering page okay so let me come here and change delete this part first okay now we need to paste this entire thing Okay, I will delete this. Now I will select this part, make it bold, uh, increase its size to say 40 pixel. Yeah, it's looking good. Now I will select this part and also increase its size to 36 pixels. Okay, and let's have some space in between and make it central, everything central aligned. Okay, so let's make everything central aligned and let's change the color of this text to white. Oh, this is the white one. Yep, and everything over here as well to white. Now let's click on save. Drag this up, reduce the size, yeah, and I will reduce this size as well to say 32. Yeah, it's looking good now. Everything's good. move this up click on the entire block drag it and make it shorter okay and from this end as well look like that it's good to go now. Yeah, it's good now. So now let's add that bonus part, okay? What they are having. So we don't have exactly a template like this, but we can recreate this like something similar to it, okay? So we need to go to blocks and click on all blocks and look for something similar like that okay so let's go down i hope i will find something because group funds has provided us with thousands of templates And it's a great page builder as well. It's very easy. Just drag and drop page builder. Okay. Here we go. We got one. We'll drag it. Okay. Let me just drag it over there and I will move it down.
okay let me select this block and here you go the down button i'll click it and it went down so let me click on save again okay and suppose these are my bonuses and let the headline be whatever it is and let's just change the image size, okay and do we have anything else no so let's just change the images this is a checklist and this is a mind map okay so let's come here so let me write bonus one checklist and bonus two say mind map okay now let's change this text to what i have copied here we go now i will delete this part no. i have to undo it once again and i will just do it like this okay this part is done now i will choose the mind map text from here this is the mind map text so copy this you will see come to my book funnel so yeah i will paste it over here okay and i will remove this part now i will change the images to whatever they have provided us so let's click on save Yeah, it's saved so guys now we need to change these images with the checklist and mind map we have been provided with so first thing let me delete all these bonuses which we don't have with us just click over here and delete confirm you need to click in the entire block press delete once and then click on confirm okay in a similar manner we have to delete bonus 3 as well It's better if I am able to select the entire box. No, not like that. Okay, let's do it like this only. And I don't need these things. Okay. So I have to read all these things because it's not going with my landing page. So let me delete these things first. Now once I after I complete deleting the entire section okay so what's left so we need to do uh, the upsell page and three thank you two thank you pages okay so now we are done so let's upload these images let's click on this image click on configure and choose an image of checklist okay so for that we have to upload image and i hope they have provided us with all those images yeah here you go this is the checklist image let's click open and click on the upload button let's click on select and update okay now i have to reduce the size of the image yeah so my checklist part is done now i have to insert the mind map image so let's come here uh, click on upload so let's see this is a checklist here you go this is the mind map click open 
and click on the upload button and let's wait for it to upload here yeah. click on select and update so once it's uploaded now we need to reduce the size okay this is looking good for it so now we will click on the save button and here we go we have almost completed our core offering page okay so let's click on save again and so guys now let's create um, the thank you page for our core offering so let's go to funnels click over here I mean not here like over here and click on the plus button click on blank template and let's say thank you core offer okay click on the three dots then on edit settings and say now as a page url i want thank you co it stands for code offer click on this right button okay so this is going to be my third page so let me see what they have provided um, this is the front end thank you you have to click on this Okay, it's very much similar to what we have already created guys so let's do one thing let's go to group funnels uh, let's duplicate okay I will delete this one I don't need this I will just duplicate it and make a clone out of it okay so let yeah this is one let me click on three dots and click on clone Okay, now let's click on the three dots again and let's click on edit settings. Now I will change this to core offer and my page URL is going to be PYCO. CO stands for core offers. Okay, click on this right button and the change we are going to make is thank you your download is ready and there will be a download now button so the only change we have to make is with this image okay we have to change this image so let's click on this image come to configure and let's choose our image this is the image that goes with the core offer click on select And update here we go <clears throat> now click on save yes now we will change this download now button because I have seen that they have provided us with a download button also means image of a download button also so let's do that we will delete this one go to elements where is the image we go take the image keep it over here now we need to select on this image go to configure choose image and upload image now i have seen that they have provided us with image icon okay. let's go back to assets so to front end thank you and then click on assets and images and there you go this is the download now button so let me use button and click on open 
Okay, and let's click on the upload. Now let's click on update. Very good, our image is ready. Okay, now you can make this image as a clickable button also by clicking on configure and link to. Okay, I hope you understood. I will show it. Don't worry. Now let's click on save as we have created our thank you page for our core offering. Now we will go to our upsell page. Okay, so this one is done. And let's go to funnels again. Click on our funnel. Click on this plus icon. Select blank template. <clears throat> now, okay, what I will do, I am now thinking of cloning our core offering. So it will reduce our work, okay? So let's delete it. <clears throat> There's no need to make a new page. So here is the core offer. Just clone it. Now again click on these three dots, then click on edit settings. Okay, and here we'll change this to Excel or maybe OTO. The URL is going to be OTO. Okay, click on this right icon. Now the the changes which I'm going to make for this OTO is like the logo is going to be the same. I will just change this text. Suppose the secret blueprint reveals the key to increase the longevity. I will change this to OTO video bundle. You understand that this is an OTO page and let this be the video because I don't have to change everything now and there has to be a call to action button okay now let's suppose the price of the OTO is not $17 I have to change that to suppose $49 okay. and I will change the color and size of it to say 36 yep yeah. it's looking nice now and I will remove this bonus section from OTU okay I will click on the block and click on this delete button confirm and this also so guys we are completed with the OTU one thing okay. we are having only one OTU and we have completed the OTU thing let everything be same to just distinguish between the core offer and OTO I'm using this headline okay now click on save okay, now let's go to funnels come here see now we have completed a lead magnet page then the thank you lead magnet page core offer thank you core offer now we have complete the OTO page now we will create a thank you for OTO so let me copy this make a clone of this thank you page okay now let's change the name to say edit settings or yeah edit settings and say thank you OTO and change this page URL to TY OTO. Okay, click on this right button and we are good to go. Just to distinguish that this is an OTO page, I will write like thank you your OTO video bundle is ready. Okay, just to distinguish. Click on save and let this be the image, no problem. And there will be a download button, okay? So <clears throat> let's click on save. So 
so guys so far what we have done so now till now we have let me show you everything created the first home page that is going to be our lead magnet page okay then we created the series of landing pages in our funnel that is the thank you page for our lead magnet followed by our core offer okay then we created a thank you page for our core offer and this is our OTO page and this is the thank you page for our OTO okay so we have completed building our basic structures of our funnels with the help of roof pages so in the next video what we are going to do we are going to link these pages like in a funnel and create a product funnel using roof pages and we will rejoin and reconnect with each and every product and make this as a selling item okay so that is what we have in our agenda in our next video so i hope you understood how to use roof pages right and i will expect you to complete this assignment like create your own funnels like having a similar kind of structure like having a lead magnet followed by your core offer and then to one upsell page and you need to have three thank you pages for it okay so in this video we have completed only this part using roof pages so i will recommend you to complete this part using roof page and then move on to roof sell part okay the building a product funnel so till then i hope you understood everything if you have any doubts you can feel free to let me know in our facebook group okay thank you have a good day bye